Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I am doing for aerial photography. In this series guys, I am going to make a quadcopter drone for aerial photography right from scratch. In the last video guys, I have already done the assembly of the drone frame that I am going to use. If you have not seen that video guys, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out. In this video guys, I am going to do a quick unboxing of this iFlight drone motors that I am going to use on my drone uh, and also I will be showing you how to install this uh, motors onto the drone frame that I have already assembled. So ensure that guys you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that I have to share. Before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos. Let's get started. So before we start with unboxing guys let us see what is there in this packaging. As you can see when you order this iFlight drone motors this comes in this transparent box on the tops it says iFlight 4 pieces Sinx E Pro motors that I have ordered it is a Zinc brand and it is uh, iFlight Sync E Pro that is you can see here mentioned here on the label as well so this comes in this transparent boxing with the iFlight logo here marked over this transparent cover that it comes in so let us open the cover and remove the boxes So there are four boxes that it comes with. So there are the four motors since it is a quadcopter guys you will be needing this four motors onto the four arms of the quadcopter so as to be able to fly guys. So it comes in a package of four. So let us see what are the specifications of this Zinc flight motor that I have ordered. You can see here this is made by iFlight. This is a Zinc E Pro motor that I have ordered. The power of this motor is 2250 kV. So this is a high speed motor guys which is used on the drone. So this is a brushless motor guys so it has longevity and has durability as well guys so this helps the motor to have an efficient power utilization during the time of flight and also there is lesser friction guys so brushless motor is what you need to order whenever you want to make a drone from the scratch so this is pretty much standard in this time guys to make any drone so let's open the box and see what are the contents inside so as you can see it comes with a nice packaging there is a foam padding on the top so as to prevent it from damage and shock on the top guys it comes with four screws that are used to install this onto the frame and there is a nut on the top so that you can install the fan or propeller over this motor so the propeller does not come along with this motor guys you need to order it separately but it does comes with the propeller attachment so that whenever you have the propeller you will be able to attach it on the top of this motor so this is something that came along with this one and then you can see inside there is a foam padding and the motor is placed nicely inside so as to prevent it from any damage or scratches so this is also something very professional done by iFlight I really like the kind of packaging that they have done so as you can see guys uh, this is it what you have here inside the box it does not come with any user manual or instruction manual which is pretty straightforward how to install in a minute i will be showing you how to do that too guys so here let us see the build quality of this motor as you can see on this uh, a brushless motor that it came with on the top you can see there is a shaft which is a threaded shaft on to which this uh, top side nut will go and here you will put the propeller first and then you can tighten it up using the nut that came along with at the bottom guys you can see there are screw holes and i think these are m3 screws that came along with this one so as to be able to install this motor onto the drone frame so before you order the motor guys ensure that your frame is compatible as my frame has m3 screws holes so i will be able to install this motor without problem so if you are ordering any motor ensure that you have the compatible holes that you have along with the matching frame and then it comes with the three wires that came out of this these wires are used for forward and reverse movement along with the signal so there are three wires that came along with it and you can program the direction of rotation and speed of rotation from the flight controller itself so these are the three that goes with the motor control unit that you install onto the drone frame that we'll be doing in the future video so as you can see guys this is all metal frame onto the top uh, this metal frame is going to rotate and the base is going to be stationary so this is how the brushless motors are designed normally on the sides guys you can see it has a proper branding of Zing e pro 2207 is the model number and the power is 2450 kilovolts 
it is compatible with both 4s batteries and 6s batteries guys so ensure that you also check this before you buy depending upon the power rating that you are going to use with the drone you need to ensure that your motor is compatible so this is compatible with both 4s and 6s batteries so i'll be using my 4s battery to power my drone so i think uh, this motor is a good choice as well so now let us quickly install this motor onto the drone frame and see how does it look like so this is the drone frame guys that we assembled in our last video so here are the arms that you have you can see there are four holes here in the arms that is going to be aligned with the four holes there on the back side of the motors and we are going to install the motor over this one guys before we install the motor guys i'm going to give you some of the tips so as to have the lesser vibration when the motor moves so that you have a better stability on the drone so this is the 3m gel based dst that i'm going to use to put it here as a padding between the motor and the drone frame so as to give it some cushion or rubberized uh, platform so that as to reduce the vibration which is being produced by the motor during the operation so as to have lesser vibration onto the drone frame which improves the stability and also reduces the noise of the frame whenever it operates so let us put this 3m dst that you can purchase from home depot or any other store that you have near you and you can use it to place it here so let's put this dst quickly on all four sides and install this motor quickly now let's put this like this so as to cover all four holes So guys as you can see I have installed the DST on all four sides now let us install the motors on each of the four legs of this uh, quadcopter now to install it guys let us remove the DST cover and then make a quick holes onto the hole which is there for the screws using the screwdriver that you have so as to be able to put in the screw easily and the fourth one So you can see guys there are four holes which are already done now let us put the motor on top of it and uh, put the screws before you install the motor guys ensure that the wiring of the motor lies in line with the hand of the quadcopter like this so as to be able to connect it to the motor control unit here on the drone so align the holes and place it on top of this one and let's put the screws from the back so when you put the dsc guys it also stays at its place so that it does not move so this is also something nice now let us attach the screws from the screwdriver that we have from the behind see guys i have installed all four screws so now this is all tightened up my motor is properly aligned as you can see from the top so my wiring is going towards my drone frame which is how i wanted this motor to be installed now let me quickly install the motor on all four sides of the drone frame and then let's come back quickly so guys i am back here you can see i have installed the four motors here on all four sides of the drone uh, so this is how you install it as you can see guys uh, it is all the same process you have to insert the screws at the back and then align the motor and then tighten them up so as to put the motor on top of this drone arm guys as you can see all of the four drone arms have the wires coming towards the drone frame central frame so as to be able to solder it to the motor controller which i'll be doing in another video guys today's video is all about how to install this motor correctly and the specifications of this motor which we have done on this video guys so this is it guys uh, this is how your iFlight motor is being installed on the drone frame i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies